YWC of Delaware Sexual Assault Response Center is bringing a variety of events throughout the month of April to our community to engage them during Sexual Assault Awareness Month. This event really started when my position was created back this summer as a medical liaison since we saw the need between survivors of sexual violence disclosing to medical providers. We wanted to provide some training to doctors, nurses, counselors around what to do in that moment and to how to help their clients and their patients seek services uh, that are specific for sexual assault survivors. So like the resources and services that we have at Sexual Assault Response Center. And out of this, we wanted to come together specifically with our partners partnership with Christiana Care to create this kickoff event for Sexual Assault Awareness Month because we wanted to invite these medical partners that we were working with for the event and also bring together our domestic violence agencies, our sexual violence and sexual assault organizations to create a holistic health and wellness event for survivors to seek support and for community agencies really to learn what's out there in terms of resources. The event was free and open to the public with 20 organizations in attendance to share information and resources. They're all community partners, so no one does this work alone. Uh, the Sexual Assault Response Center usually partners with a lot of community uh, organizations to provide all the services that someone might need. The Sexual Assault Response Center uses the month of April to call attention to the impact sexual assault has on people's lives and to let people know that in Delaware there is a place for help, advocacy and support. The Sexual Assault Response Center serves about 1,300 individuals from Delaware communities every year. Those are individuals who are victimized by sexual violence. Uh, we have comprehensive crisis intervention services. We have a 24-7 uh, helpline with resources and access to medical and police accompaniments for reporting. Um, as well, we do individual and group counseling and aftercare case management. So I think it's really important to do awareness raising events because for so long sexual and domestic violence wasn't an issue that we talked about. You know, events like this didn't exist, you know, 30, even 20 years ago. Um, and it's important for survivors to know what's out there, especially to know what the free resources are, what the confidential resources are, and really where to go when they need help because there's a difference between what we do at SARC at the Sexual Assault Response Center, what some of our domestic violence organizations do, what Delaware Center for Justice and some of our legal partners do. Uh, and really how to navigate the system in terms of finding resources that work best for every survivor's unique situation because every survivor is different, every story with sexual assault and experience with domestic violence is different. We want to um, connect survivors with the resource and the agency that works best for them and will help to fill the need um, that they have, whatever they might need, if it's safety, if it's shelter, if it's accompaniments to the hospital, we want to provide that connection with them and hopefully events like this help share those resources with the community and make us more informed as a whole. The history of Sexual Assault Awareness Month has shown us that no matter what, those who want to end sexual assault and abuse will always find ways to advocate for prevention and awareness. Reporting in Newark, Delaware, Yesenia Tavares, WITN 22.